Hillbilly, it's Tuesday, uh, happy Valentine's Day. It's Education Week, and as we saw, Andrew uh, showed us how to shave yesterday. Keeping up with the theme of personal maintenance, I thought I would do a makeup tutorial for anyone who wants to get dulled up for Valentine's Day, which I would be doing if I had a date. <laughs> taken off my makeup and that I was wearing before and I've washed my face which is something that um, if you have time to do I would recommend especially if um, you're like me and you have sensitive skin and you don't like wearing a lot of makeup and then I would recommend like a sort of an after acne treatment comes in skin tone which acts as like a pre concealer base and I, and I actually use that sort of instead of liquid concealer. So the next thing I'm going to do is use some spot concealer and go over my dark circles. And then after that, apply some, just a little bit of powder foundation, just like tiny little bit. The next thing you want to do is just your base, like if you do blush or bronzer, do the T there, probably just cheekbones. There and a little on your chin. That's it. Nothing more than that. Anyone who tells you more than that are liars. Fill up the apple. You smile. That's another trick. You smile like a freaking idiot when you put on blush because then it helps you get the cheeks right. And then you move on to the, your eye. My camera just cut out, so what you missed was uh, put primer. Um, Light stuff on your brow bone, the peachy color on your lids, then put some light white stuff over the um, brow bone, and then sort of the sub subsequent same sort of champagne color over one third of your eye. And then we're gonna do a really neat pink color, and you're gonna do that over about like two thirds of your eye really, really lightly. So like this, you wanna blend. Take what's left of a darker color from your poor, sad makeup cow pact. Use your thin detail brush that you use for everything and use it to sort of darken around. If you really want, um, adding a little bit of purple in your crease is actually really helpful. You want to move to eyeliner, take it and go straight to the edge, try and get in what they call your waterline, and then you want to make sure there's an absolutely no gap. And then doing the flick is really easy, which is what I do every day. If you want to know how I do my makeup every day, it's usually just everything we've done until this point minus all the eyeshadow. And then you want to sort of play around and try to even it out as best you can. That should look kind of okay by now. Do the other eye eyelash curler that you never cleaned. Curl like so. And then mascara. This would be the point where uh, we do lip liner, which is really easy. Make sure you get, yes, this is called a Cupid's bow. Happy Valentine's Day. And trick, want your lip li like lip color to stay on longer, fill it in. Your fancy lip gloss, something shiny, something light. Do the finger trick, not the finger trick you're expecting. That is how I would suggest doing some nice date makeup for Valentine's Day if you are going out or if you just want to look pretty which is always the reason, um, I would say, for doing makeup. Do it for yourself. Do it because you makes you feel good. If it doesn't make you feel good, then do something else. So that's the moral, kids. Only wear makeup if it makes you feel good about yourself. Don't wear it to cover yourself up. Wear it to make yourself feel brighter. Everyone has a lovely Valentine's Day. Don't stay alone by yourself. If you don't have a date, call a friend. 
have a standing date with your friends, uh, go out to eat, nerd out, that's what I'm doing tonight, I'm going to go have a date with Ben and Hannah for Valentine's Day, and we're going to go watch Sherlock and eat sandwiches, it's going to be great. So, I hope you all are having a lovely day, and hopefully I will see you all soon, Andrew was nice to see you yesterday, and who I will see Paul tomorrow. Mwah. Love you all. Have a good one, guys. See ya.